And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone, and welcome. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the EU, or specifically the British public and the relationship with the EU. Now, this is in relation to a poll. I know polls are trash, but it is a good indication that people are starting to wake up to what the EU actually are and are showing their disgust at the EU by hurting their pockets. This is titled EU Crisis as one third of UK shoppers stop buying EU exports since Brexit. Yep, you heard. A third of Brits, that's effectively 20 million people, now refuse to buy anything that comes from in the EU. It's getting hopeful, isn't it? It just does look like all of the polls that the media are putting out are effectively trash, doesn't it? I mean, if a third of the people in a poll of, of a thousand people from across all walks of life comes back as 35% of stop buying, that's a really good indicator that the times are changing against the EU and it looks like more and more of the public are having their eyes opened. So, a mass national red pill. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. <laughs> Now, to be honest, can you be surprised as well? We've seen how the EU have reacted over Brexit. We've had four years of them belittling us and trying to, to split our unions or and trying to stop us succeeding on our own. And my I had failing miserably on all fronts so far. Touch wood. <laughs> we also saw the debacle that they've had over the jabby jab, haven't we? And how it seems to be only for the few and not the many. We've also seen as well, haven't we, that they've been playing games with the borders and restricting things coming in and going out to make it look like Brexit was a bad idea and it was going to hurt us. When in fact, it's them that have got the £68 billion hole in their budget and not the UK. So you can understand why the British people are starting to give them the two finger salute, can't you? It's perfect, isn't it? It does give you an indication that the time tide is changing and it, it seems more and more and more and more and more are waking up to exactly what the EU are, a protectionist racket. I mean, they're not even protecting the open borders policy anymore. You noticed how that suddenly disappeared as soon as they got an issue. Now they're all stopping each other go going into each other's countries. So much for a union state, isn't it, everyone? <laughs> the end of the EU is nigh. I'm going to start wearing one of them boards, I think. You know, the, the, en the end is nigh. And then on the back of it, don't let the door kick you in the ass. But anyway, I'd like to know your opinion, everyone. I'd like to know what you think. It's more evidence, isn't it, that the, the, the UK people, we're not stupid. Eventually, we're going to see through the media narrative and framing and we're going to see the EU for exactly what it was exactly what Thatcher saw it for a weak lot that are only there to protect themselves not anyone else if the divergence between different European economies is so great that even the ERM cannot contain them how could those economies possibly react to a single currency the answer is that there would be chaos and resentment of the sort that would make the difficulties of recent days pale by comparison. Huge sums would have to be transferred from richer to poorer countries and regions to allow them to take the strain. Even then, unemployment and mass migration across now open frontiers would follow, and a full-fledged single currency would allow no escape hatch. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to put the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out, everyone. Stay sane, I'll see you on the next one.